Yeah, we can. There's two other occupants in the in the vehicle. Yeah, Driver, go ahead and step out of the vehicle. Keep your hands where I can see them. What you want? What you want? What you gonna do? When John Brown come for you? Initially, I made a traffic stop on the vehicle for a traffic infraction on the roadway. We called the driver back to us so that I could talk to her a little bit more about what was going on. Uh, she was really agitated. She was having a difficult time kind of staying in one place. I did not want her at that point to be going back to the uh, vehicle. I felt that there were other things going on that, of course, she wasn't willing to tell us at that point. Pretty clearly to me, it seemed like you were trying to drive to get away from me. I don't have insurance. Okay. And I just don't, I don't need that, the But that's like, not, a, that's not a big right deal, now. and that's not worth, like, trying to speed away from the police, get I, problems right, for that. I'm, I'm willing to give you guys ideas. Like, I have okay. nothing going on. I, okay. just, I need to work at 6 in the morning. You know okay. what? I have to leave by what time? Maybe 5? I don't need this right now because okay. I didn't use a turn signal. Like, okay. come on. So I'm, I'm talking to the driver at that point, and then I'm notified by the K-9 that uh, we had a positive alert on the vehicle. Um, so at that point, one of the deputies uh, stayed with the driver while I went to go do a hands-on search of the vehicle for uh, any possible uh, illegal contraband or narcotics at that time. What do you got? Oh, that's meth. Look at that. Not that, there was some here. So it looks like we possibly have some narcotics so this little plastic bag here, it's all burned up on the end, but if you look at it, it's got the crystals in there. That's really typical of methamphetamine. Um, in addition, I uh, located a small closed case, and uh, inside that case, what is commonly known as a uh, narcotics kit. So basically, I took those items back, um, and I kind of set them on the ground next to her, and so she knew that I wanted to talk with her about this black backpack, and you know, the long story short is she admits it's her backpack, but then, since I have all those positive admissions that this is her stuff, her bag, then I started addressing the other things that were located. And prior, when I was um, talking to her initially, she stated that um, she wanted to smoke a cigarette, and I had asked her all these questions about where are the cigarettes located, who do they belong to. She identified all of the cigarettes as being hers. So then I was able to take that information and talk to her about that and ask her about the narcotics that were found in those cigarette packs. Uh, she was adamant that none of that belonged to her. There was and there was a bag of what appeared to be, that's well, bull Alyssa, I'm just telling you this is what found, okay? There was, that's bullshit. Well, she became agitated again. She started swearing. She said that um, it was all a joke. She had some other choice words for that, of course. But uh, she said it was a joke. They'd been sitting in the car there for several minutes. Uh, she didn't know what they had done to her bag and her stuff. Um, she denied that any of that was hers. Uh, she was charged with possession of methamphetamine, uh, possession of drug paraphernalia, and she went to Ada County Jail for those charges. He picks you up off the street for what? For prostitution? Well, what did he say? This is not hide and seek. We know where you're at. Come out with your hands out. Well, obviously, I don't do not want to be rolling around with no shirt on or anything with anybody. That is a good lesson. Ten four three two. Was your mouth to the alarm in your face? Two Charlie two. Can you write with Baker three on the destruction auto? 